Grand Rising Socha, friends and family. I came out here to meditate. Oh, I don't want to sound like a broken record where I say that the energy is intense and there's a big shift going on. There's always a big shift going on. <laughs> Every single moment is a moment for you to create a paradigm shift within yourself. But I will say that the 777 portal is very powerful. We are in the year of 2023 which equals seven. And so this particular portal was a 777 portal. Now the number seven means a lot of things. Completion, mastery, quote unquote perfection. Teaching, discovery, revelation. But with the 777 portal, there has also been such a clearing of with the full moon of Capricorn these north and south nodes collectively are about to shift we have so many planets in retrograde this particular 777 portal has been so clearing of past life of current lifetime ancestral collective timelines that just no longer serve so when we talk about karma, right, because we had the full moon in Capricorn, we had the Saturn retrograde, we have the Saturn retrograde, um, which Saturn rules karma, there's so many layers of that. We have, say, personal karma, right? We have ancestral. We have collective. The land. There's many layers to it. I do get a lot of messages of like, how do I clear this? How do I clear that? Yes, it's doing the work. But I think ultimately what it is as well is bringing these lessons, bringing anything into the conscious, bringing something that is unconscious into the conscious, being aware of it. Because if we think that we have like any of this extra work to do, right? Which doesn't mean that we're not learning the lesson or learning the lessons. God is in control. But we are always asked to return to the infinite present moment of now. That is a true breaker of karma. That is true ascension. Is being in the present moment of now. We've all had so many past lives. There's so much separation in this world. You could spend lifetimes clearing, quote unquote, it. And throughout all those lifetimes, you will learn that the whole lesson was just to return to the infinite present moment of now. Returning home to the heart space, to the sacred temple of the heart space. This 777 portal, there was a lot of Anubis energy. There was a lot of healing of separation on a cellular level if you're human then the second that you're born you forget who you are because we forget that we are any separate from the cosmic womb we forget that we're any separate from say our divine mother or father the whole human experience is remembering that you are no separate from god That's a really cool bug. <laughs> we are still human here. We, I have a human body. If you're watching this, I'm sure you have a human body. And the purpose is to operate from the heart space. To operate in two thirds of divine, because we are. And there is that one third of, say, ego or animal that still exists. Why? So that we could navigate this human realm. We need that navigation so that we can protect ourselves because we don't want to get into the love and light where everything is just perfect and everything is like love, light, and a whole lot of truth. So I try not to like always read too many comments because the comments can sometimes be crazy. But I have been seeing a theme in some of the comments lately of like, oh, this God, that God, that, you know. 
and even in my own personal life. So we talk about 777, right? My personal path has been so tested, and I know so many other light workers, light beings, where their personal paths were tested, and I mean all over the world. My commitment to my path, of what others think of me. There, there was someone, too, that just completely projected onto me. That was very dear to my heart. Um, and I think there was a few different situations of this, but that one, that one was different. But what I find interesting is I come across a lot of people who are just like, there's only one God. There's only one God. What are you doing? Of course there's only one God. Of course there is. There is only one source that connects us all. The great mystery that connects us all. We are rewriting the stories. Mary Magdalene was missing from that Bible. Wonder why? Because it's all the feminine energy. Mary Magdalene was missing from the Bible. She's even, there's even some of her own articles and files that are missing. Isis and Osiris, like, Isis, why are you chasing Osiris that much? Like, you know that he's just a reflection and he's within you. <laughs> you do not need him to protect you. <laughs> Which... We do. Physical union is beautiful. And we do all deserve that. But. Rewriting those stories. Because. Look what happened in all those stories. Right. And all of these stories. All of these myths. All of these different Bibles. They all say so many reflections of pretty much the same thing, 707. If you look at all of them, they're all saying similar things. Some sort of union that we add a whole bunch of names and drama to. And all the sacred drama. But... Everything is symbolism. Everything. Even the things that you don't think that you want to be symbolism. They are somehow reflecting something back to you. It's the thing, it's like, if, if everything is one, right? <laughs> like, it's like people will say, we're all one, everything is one. But not that, and not that, and not that. I'm not that. But I thought everything was one. Everything is symbolism. The number seven, the number one, four, four, the number twelve. Everything is one. And we are clearing those codes of separation. For us to be in oneness, we know that there is no spiritual warfare or battle other than our own consciousness and unconsciousness within ourselves. The true, quote-unquote, battle, if there is a battle, because love has already won. The true, quote-unquote, battle is not between light and dark. It is between consciousness and unconsciousness. Everything has already returned to God. Everything. Every energy. Right? Because light is light. And um, say the true darkness, right? Because wasn't there darkness before there was light? That was the cosmic womb of the Great Mother. And the reason why, oh my God, darkness, that is the feminine energy. That is the feminine energy, which is truth, which is the cosmic womb. When you are being born inside of a woman, inside of a womb, it is dark. And it is only after you are birthed that you see light. So some people will say like, oh my God, that's dark. Are you saying that that's dark or are you saying that that's unconscious? Because those are two very separate things. And you could have, say someone who like, is like, say Archangel Michael, just because like that's um, like a main, that's the main, right? <laughs> but um, he is the man. Say you have someone who like only worships Archangel Michael, but like, they're just so unconscious to everything else and they spew so much separation and, and they truly are living in like a place of separation. Is that light? Or is that dark? Quote unquote dark. 
because it's truly just consciousness and unconsciousness. The beautiful dance of the lover and the beloved are constantly and consistently coming into greater harmony with our own masculine and feminine, our own light and dark. Happy 7-7 portal. My phone's on 30.